Okay, YouTube. Well, um, tonight I'm going to do a, uh, a pocket dump. My last video was a uh, an everyday carry stuff, which was a generalization of stuff that I kind of interchange when uh, uh, doing my everyday carry. But um, tonight I want to do something that's a bit more specified to exactly what's um, in my pocket. When I'm, I just got home from work, it's about uh, 11.30 p.m. Um, on a Wednesday evening, so... All right, first of all, let me empty some uh, some pockets here. Wallet, gigantic, huge. I, it's full of junk. I don't need to uh, go through it all, but... Uh, wallet, obviously. Uh, my everyday carry pen, which is a Fisher from... I mean, this is 30 years old. I love this pen. It's uh, indestructible. Um, I guess, I, I'm not sure if it's called the Space Pen, but it looks like all the other ones. The Fisher Space Pen uh, Bullet. Love it. Um, I always carried a fire source because I was a smoker, and I, I am I'm now a former smoker. I quit smoking seven months ago. Thank, thanks for me. Um, I do not recommend a Zippo for a light lighting a fire source if you're not a smoker because they do tend to dry out over time so i am uh relinquishing uh, my zippos by the way i owed about a hundred of them i'm thinking of auctioning them off some point so i got an old bic just to have on my person because i'm a chef and i need to relight pilot lights and uh certain burners that don't work on a certain stove so that's in my pocket um, of course, you saw this in the last video. This is um, the uh, Kershaw 1620FL Ken Onion. Uh, it's a great knife. Very, very handy, very light. I like it a lot. That goes in there. Um, of course, it's Western New York, and it's 8 below zero. Uh, Got to have some lip balm. Uh, my keys, my keys are... I'm, I'd like to add some stuff to this. I certainly would, because... Um, First of all, this uh, carabiner is fake. I mean, it's not real. It's really not load-bearing. It's only good for holding keys. But it's got a little can opener on there, and I got my um, mini mag light, which is something I need to uh, update. And I've been watching a lot of videos, and I want to get a uh, through night. Uh, I believe it's a T TI-3. That's I'm going to get one of those. And this is, uh, this is of course, I mean, a Swiss Army... Many with all the doodads and the pen and the uh, scissors and everything. And, uh, of course, my Jeep keys. House key. And, uh, alright, so. Um, I carry this with me when I'm when I'm not going to work. Uh, this is kind of my Porta Med Kit, which is a modified and cut down uh, checkbook. Nobody writes checks anymore. So I cut it down, modified it with a little duct tape. And uh, I got the usual stuff, uh, some, you know, some butterfly closers, some band-aids, some alcohol swabs, some gauze, and some aspirin in case somebody has a heart attack or something. So it's very thin, and, you know, and if it wears out, I just I throw it out and I make another one out of a cheap, worth-nothing uh, check holder. Um, let's see. Of course, uh, on my belt is a leather man you saw in the last video. This is an old school one. This one's 20, 25 years old, and it's still in perfect shape. And I've seen some of the newer ones. I see how much they cost. It freaks me out, but I do like um, how some of the newer tools have come out um, involved in those. This one is, uh, has been my standby for a couple of decades. Um, so that's on my belt. Um, and, of course, um, not all these are in my pockets. I... Since I hit my 40s, my uh, reading ability at close range has become pretty bad. So these are uh, dollar store cheater glasses. I mean, uh, literally a dollar a piece. So I pick up a handful of them and I keep a bunch of them in my car, a bunch of them at home, and I throw one or two in my pockets when I go to work. I need those. Got to have them. I'm sad to say. Um, let's see. Uh, so when I'm around the house, uh, um, EDC... Uh, yeah, see the cats hear that noise and they're freaking out. Just the jiggling of this, they they want this. You can hear them in the background. But when I'm home, I gotta have this in the pocket because if I want the cats away from me, they uh, yeah. So 
yeah, you can hear him trying to bust the door, the screen door down, uh, try to get at this. So, got to have this uh, every day. Um, when I go to work, it's a different story. I put my chef jacket on and my chest pocket, I always have um, a pen. Of course, you got to be signing invoices and all that kind of stuff. So, I got a pen that I have. And it's hard to keep a really reliable pen in the restaurant business because somebody's somebody's going to ask for your pen and never freaking give it back. And it happens hundreds of times in your uh, career lifetime. And, of course, uh, probe thermometer, you know, it's, it's very good to have always. And uh, as I said in the last video, I love one-handed operation, so I always have a red and a black uh, push-button Sharpie because, if you know, if you're run under the cooler and or you're putting a giant order away and you want to date something while you're holding it in your hand you can't put it down take a regular sharpie out take the cap off put it on the back write it you just don't have time for that and that's a, a lot of the reason why i picked up this as opposed to uh a lot of the other knives like the uh this this buck knife which i had carried for years by the way if you saw in the last video um i was uh displaying this knife and it closed on my finger, and I really didn't pay attention. And when I watched the video again, I could, I could tell that I cut myself and I was bleeding during the last video. But, and, uh, and of course, uh, you know, some Tic Tacs. I mean, you know, you're uh, in kind of customer service. You want to you have nice breath. And so that's it for the uh, the pocket dump um, from just getting home from work. And uh, But I wanted put a couple quick things in there as far as things in my center, center console in my car. Um, cheap flashlight. I have two or three or four flashlights in the car. This one, this flashlight costs $1.97. That's even kind of cool looking. And uh, $1.97 with the batteries in it. Um, one of these cool little cobalt. Uh, it's a ratcheting screwdriver and it's got, it's got all the great attachments. So, when you're in your car, you you need these kind of things. So that's got a, a whole boatload of attachments, which which is really good, by the way, for uh, these little torque, I believe, wrenches um, for taking apart like your uh, knife like this to uh, loosen up the things. So that's not really in my center console. It's in a little uh, area in the door of my car, uh, my Jeep. That and this uh, insanely oversized multi-tool that I got from somewhere I forget, but I'm just I'm, I would never carry this on my person. This thing is this thing's like a freaking Denny's omelet in your hand. It's huge, <clears throat> um, very bulky, but but it like I said, it's huge, and I don't think this would uh, stand much stress in the regular situation. It's got a bunch of tools on it. But it's just too damn flashy, um, so that's why I put it in the Jeep where uh, it won't get in the way of anything. But it's there. I mean, granted, like I said, I have my leather man, but maybe someday I don't. Maybe I'm dressed up real nice. I don't want to have this on my belt. I do have a backup of that. Um, of course, being a guy, a couple backup free samples from Macy's, you know, uh, some kind of cologne that's in the center console and uh, tape measure. <laughs> And of course, I be, having uh, being a Jeep owner, I have a big plastic tote in the back, of course, with things like jumper cables and some wrenches and and all that kind of uh, crazy. Sur not survival stuff, but urban survival uh, for um, things when you blow a tire or do whatever you do. So that's my pocket dump um, for a normal day in my life and uh, an input. Uh, I'd like to hear it. So uh, thank you. Oh yeah, one last thing I forgot to mention was my phone. I keep forgetting to mention my phone because I'm using it to film this. But I took the outer case off. Um, I have the uh, Droid Max with two X's. Um, I love this case. Uh, being a chef and having greasy hands a lot. Um, I need something that's good and grippy. I mean, it... It's hefty. It <clears throat> does add a good amount of bulk to the phone. I'll, I take it off when I'm going out socially because there's just there's a lot of uh, bulky space on it. But as far as protecting my Droid Max, it works very well. Um, and I would recommend to people, um, 
I used to, this goes in my left front pocket, I'm, I'm left-handed. It's the only thing that goes in my pocket is my phone, and I'll tell you why. Uh, first of all, years past, I would have spare change and uh, money and all that kind of stuff in that front pocket. That was before these cases got so prevalent and uh, and uh, grippy. It, if I put dollar bills in my front pocket with this thing, I lose them constantly. Um, the grippiness, you, you go in to get your phone out real quick, you don't know that there's uh, money um, stuck to it. And you pull your phone out and hello, make your phone call and your money ends up on the floor and people take it and that's it. You'll never see it again. Um, that's the only drawback is don't put anything paper in your uh, in your uh, pocket with, uh, you know, one of these kind of grippy cases like this. Because every time you go to take your money out of your pocket, something's going to go flying. Like notes, uh, like post-it notes or anything, anything paper. It just, these things are made to, you know, uh, grab on. And, and that's what I like about it. So nothing else goes in my front pocket with my phone other than my phone and this case, which I can't show you the phone because I'm filming it with that. But that's all I wanted to say. And just beware um, of the grippiness of your case because it's easy to uh, lose money. And, well, who wants to lose money? Nobody.